Day leading after the opening round, and she has started right back from where she left off today. The second, the third, the fourth. This, her approach at the short fifth, and it would set up four birdies in a row for Brooke Henderson. Four straight birdies. Got the putter working. Only needed eight putts through the first six holes today. Yeah. Oh, this ninth tee shot, Tom, is a big dog leg round to the left. Brooke has to really hug that left side if she wants to keep it in the fairway, but I think this one's a bit out to the right. Probably doesn't suit her eye all of that well with the little fade she likes to hit. The rye overseed, Karen. What about, what about you? I do, too. I mean, it's a... Uh, I mean, if you had to play from the rough, it's quite a pleasant rough to play from. You can control it so much better than you can out of a thick Bermuda. Absolutely. Yeah, she has. She's got 228 to the front. She's off of a downslope, but the ball was sitting up okay. Looking for that little fade. Yeah, that's not a bad lead. Henderson now for a birdie at the ninth. And uh, Rook has been rolling with her ball really well. Uh, new putter in the bag as well. And I kind of like how she sets up with it. He's been reading them well. Ooh. She burned so many edges yesterday, Karen, even as well as she played. Just giving herself so many opportunities as usual. Back on the 10th with the leader, Brooke Henderson. Well, with this whole, whole dog legging around to the right, the bunker on that right corner does come into play. But Brooke Henderson, I think, has enough power in this driver to carry it at 245. She didn't look worried about that whatsoever. That is in perfect position. Can't go long here. Okay. Early in the tournament, should she be going at uh, flags if she needs to be aggressive? It, um, there's a lot that goes into the way that she plays. It's a very analytical approach to the game and always playing to the percentages. You know, we talk about the ability, the, the commitment to aim away from a flag stick. I'm assuming there was quite a wait here, Karen. There was. There was a couple of groups waiting on this tee. I think because it's very reachable for all the players today. It's a good-looking tee shot there. And she, and her drive is so impressive right now. I mean, she's always been... A little bit unlucky to run through into this bunker. It would have been lovely sitting on the fairway, but as it is, so much more difficult from this bunker. Getting that distance control right. Got to chase down that hill now. That beautifully done. That's the same bunker we saw Charlie Hall leave it on the top okay. shelf. missed opportunity there yeah maybe just release the right hand just a touch that is her miss we saw it a couple times yesterday her miss a few putts just left there is a bunker that runs down the left but plenty of room down the right of this fairway Good. Okay. And that'll do nicely it's a good little bit of tumble on her tee shots, Morgan. Yeah, she has a little bit of a lower trajectory. Not she's she's a long ball. Oh, with that flag tucked on the right, absolutely very inviting. Yeah, good shot there. Just dialed in from Brook. done and Brooke will have a lot of support here a lot of folks from Canada make their winter home in this area that's a lethal combination I think she's also a player that can draw a lot of confidence yeah. from how she hits Beauty. her driver okay. and that's pretty perfect another perfect tee shot taking a Hold very up, aggressive Ollie. line and you know that's the kind of thing Brooke very often does take driver where this reward challenge continues focusing on that uh, each hole as the tournaments play out now Henderson at the 14th that was from 79 yards yeah again just looked like that started left of where she was set up left of where she was looking but 
she's just making it look very easy today. Get this to move just a smooch to the left, though. Very easy to run out of room down that right side. Looking anxious. <coughs> oh, she just missed that grassy bunker. She's okay, fine. Yeah. I've played from this spot many times. It's come out quite hot. Really well judged. It gets to be a bit of a guessing game, but you heard her sister there, Brittany, commit to that shot, and she did, and it paid off. Yeah, well done. Good up and down. We could really see from that angle how she started that one right on her line. It's a couple that we've seen have started a little bit left. Beautiful stroke. And it sounded like a phone ping, didn't it, when she was over the ball as well. Henderson now. Well, as Paige was saying, that just that hair of wit getting up. This will apply to Paige with this tee shot. That's another good one, though. I actually like that play. I think she would be really pushing that eight on to get it back to that flag with this wind. Yeah, smart play. Really well done there. like a really good putt. I thought that was going to fall just on the high side. I'll tell you what, this could have been a seriously low round for her today, couldn't it, with all these putts? Okay, yesterday and today, the same. Mm. She's had so many that have burned the edge. That was a good-looking stroke. Got the little bit left bit done. There you go. She's been so dialed in with her distance control, too. Slight dog leg to this hole, Tom. She's watching this carefully. Yeah, she was worried about the bunkers and the rough on the right. Uh, if you kick left, it'll be just okay. Kick, yeah. Just in the first cut. Brooke Henderson. Uh, just a formality here, Tom. Just straight away, a little tap in. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Okay. She will have a chance for birdie. Okay, I'm getting the speed is crucial here because of that uphill. Yeah, most have left it short from here, Karen. Should be for 65, which would be the low round here oh. in the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions at Lake Nona. Tournament scoring record was 60, and that was in 2021 before they moved to Lake Nona when they used to play over at uh, Tranquilo. Still a very good day.